Everyone. My name is Dominik Jarczykowski. I'm Senior Solutions Manager in Huawei. And since it's our first time uh, to be present at the uh, HPC Advisory Council, uh, I would like to introduce you our company and I would like to give you some uh, hints and highlights about products that we are recommending to be used for HPC. Uh, and I will also give you some uh, latest technology updates and um, some success cases that we've got uh, from the HPC uh, industry. Uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, although we are a young, uh, young company because we are just less than 30 years on the market, I'm pretty sure that you all know our company from the telco market because we started there. Uh, I think that some of you might know us because of our mobile technologies, our mobile phones, smartwatches. Uh, we've got uh, our ambassadors like uh, fo football players, um, Robert Lewandowski and now Leo Messi, uh, but uh, for the HPC community it would be better to know that in one of our R&D centers in Germany we've got also some famous names from the HPC uh, community because currently in our R&D we've got uh, Mr. Heiko Schick and uh, Thomas Schonemeyer. They are developing HPC solutions for, for Huawei at the moment. And um, we are now one of the leaders globally in terms of ICT solutions. We've got more than 170,000 people and more than 30% of them, more than 40% of them are involved in R&D. So you can see a lot of innovation from, from Huawei. Uh, and as I mentioned, our HPC development centers is located not far from here in, in Germany. So, uh, and I hope that you will find a lot of a new innovative technologies coming uh, from, from this team. Uh, so we are observing the trends on the HPC market and we are focusing on building the best class of the infrastructure. That's our key focus at the moment. And as we know that in HPC, the performance is one of the, one of the biggest um, things that everyone is looking for. So we are focusing on building the solutions around maximum performance, maximum efficiency. This is one of our key pillars. Another key pillar is the uh, acceleration of workloads because uh, we know that everyone would like to finish the, the, their simulations, their uh, um, analytics as soon as possible. And another trend, and I think that you all uh, are watching this trend, that the convergency, uh, we are working on some solutions that would allow us to run uh, HPC and big data workloads from the, let's say, the same infrastructure or in the, in the same way. We, we, we've been talking for the last two, two and a uh, half days about containers, Docker, and uh, I think that this is the, the future of of HPC. Uh, so let's introduce you our portfolio, which is very, very broad. As you can see from this slide, we can build um, from top, from, from bottom to the to the top, the, the overall um, HPC solution. Uh, you can even uh, invite us to design and uh, deploy <coughs> data center buildings. So we are, we are now uh, building uh, some data centers across the Europe. Uh, we are offering modular data centers. We are offering container data centers, which uh, are reducing dramatically the implementation time of, of data centers. So that's the, the, lower, uh, the lower, lower layer. On the next layers, we've got the complete portfolio of servers, storage devices, interconnect solutions, so you can choose different flavors for, for, for the different needs. Uh, you, can, you can build the complete uh, HPC stack, but not only. Um, we are also providing cloud solutions. I think that you've heard about, about our latest announcement in Deutsche Telekom. They are starting um, cloud um, 
they, are, they, they will be offering cloud based on our open stack technologies because we are not only developing hardware but also software solutions. Uh, we've got our hypervisors, we've got our own software defined storage uh, solutions, uh, even our own file system. So uh, you can find a lot of things that could be deployed by, by Huawei. And of course, we are co cooperating with some industry leaders on the market. Uh, a lot of our products are certified to work with uh, s uh, systems like uh, Red Hat, Suzy, and also some open source systems. Uh, on the upper layers, we are supporting um, open MPI and other parallel uh, environments. We are uh, cooperating very strong with Bright Computing, so if you would like to manage your cluster using Bright Cluster Manager, we are capable to uh, deliver and also uh, implement this uh, kind of solutions uh, together with you. And we are also looking for the cooperation with the local business partners, with the local system integrators, uh, just to be sure that such companies could uh, help you build environment exact for your, for your needs. What are the values? What are the values of our HPC solution portfolio? As I mentioned, we are focusing on three pillars. One is the optimal performance, another is energy saving, and another thing is fast delivery of the, of the systems. We all know that, that building huge HPC clusters, uh, it's not so easy in terms of, uh, in terms of time. How do we do this? So um, this is one of our most popular uh, Blade server chassis, and uh, we are recommending this to, to, to be used for HPC solutions because this chassis is currently now offering the best uh, density performance uh, in, in, uh, in one chassis. Uh, in fact, we are able to use uh, 32 dual socket servers in 12U, which gives us the biggest density currently on the market. And you can expect, because we are using um, E5 2600 series CPUs for, for this, so we can expect uh, up to 30, uh, up to 42 uh, teraflops delivered from, uh, to be delivered from, from one chassis. Uh, as I mentioned, this is a very universal solution. Uh, I don't have exact data for last year, but I'm expecting that in terms of blades delivery worldwide, we will be number three or number four. So uh, this can give you the impression that uh, we've got a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, market uh, already. Uh, you can build your environment for different needs using different types of nodes. Uh, some of them are dual sockets, some of them are um, uh, four socket servers. We've got also some special nodes that could be equipped with GPUs, uh, some special nodes that could be uh, used for uh, software defined storage because you can use several uh, hard drives in one node. So you can expect that uh, if, for, for example, if you would like to build software defined storage based on Blade, we are capable to, to do this. Mm, what else? We are able to provide the fast interconnect in the, in the chassis because this chassis is ready uh, to support uh, InfiniBand EDR, also 100 uh, gig Ethernet, uh, Fiber Channel 32 if, when it will be announced because of the interconnectivity inside of the chassis is ready to, to, um, to support uh, the technologies uh, that we will uh, observe on the market in the nearest future. Another type of solution that is um, very popular on the market, uh, it's our high density um, solution. Uh, the name of this uh, product is X6800. Uh, slightly different concept than uh, Blades because, as we know, in Blades we are integrating uh, computing, networking, management, uh, everything. Uh, in this case, we are providing chassis that is uh, powering and cooling the uh, environment. Uh, however, you can, uh, you can use different types of nodes and connect them to top-of-the-rack switches and uh, those nodes should be managed uh, from, from the external, uh, from the external uh, management system. Uh, and uh, we are also proud of, of this system because uh, right now is 
uh, also capable to handle different types of workloads. Some of our customers are using this machine to build HPC. Uh, some of them are using this to, to build uh, software-defined storage because uh, we, we've got uh, currently the biggest density in terms of storage per, per one U. In uh, one of, we've got different types of nodes. For example, storage nodes are equipped with the, with the um, special drawer, which can be equipped with 12 3.5 inches hard drives, hot swappable. So you can imagine that you can, if you will be using six, eight, or 10 uh, terabyte hard drives, you can imagine that you can build huge capacity within just for you uh, in, in your rack. Uh, this is uh, this is something uh, amazing, and uh, currently uh, this is also a good solution for for big data. Uh, one of our customers in France, Critio, uh, in phase one we delivered more than 500 servers, and now they are ordering the uh, second uh, second phase, and this is the biggest uh, big data implementation currently in Europe based on on this type of machines. We got also uh, nodes that could be equipped with uh, dual GPUs. We've got nodes that could be equipped with um, IO accelerators. So, so you can see that based on this type of, of platform, you can build environment uh, for, for, different, for different workloads. Uh, last week, during CBIT, we announced our latest uh, latest child, uh, the code name of this machine is Kunlun. It's the first uh, 32 uh, socket machine, and uh, this could be used in in your environment as really fat fat node uh, because uh, of uh, CPU and memory intensive workloads. Uh, I think that. Uh, for some applications, for example, weather forecast, uh, this machine could uh, easily uh, replace um, other architectures and uh, could bring the significant savings in terms of, of TCO. Um, beside of the, uh, of the um, computing and, and memory uh, capabilities, we are providing also uh, some RAS technologies. For example, uh, you can hot swappable uh, exchange your memory, which is not unique, but also CPUs, which is, I, I believe, uh, uh, not, not usual on, on this market. Um, and we are providing a lot of a lot of innovation based on this on this machine. Um, you will get the slides, so so you will be able to to read the the, the exact numbers. I think that I've chosen uh, not uh, not the best uh, colors. Uh, however, it's worth to to mention that currently this machine could support up to 32 terabytes of memory, and has uh, the the leadership in terms of spec int. Uh, performance tests. Uh, another machine that is very good for HPC, but not only, is our uh, scalable storage. Uh, we are calling this Ocean Store 9000. Uh, the concept of this is to build the storage solution. It's um, uh, it's NAS, uh, and it's uh, highly scalable. You can start building your environment from three nodes, and you can end up to 288 nodes. You can build huge file system around of, of this machine because uh, we tested that right now it could be even more than 100 petabytes. Uh, because of this scalability, you can expect up to 400 gigabytes per second performance, and you can build your environment using different different nodes. We've got some performance nodes that could be equipped with SSD or SAS drives to bring some um, additional IOs. Uh, we can build also um, capacity using capacity nodes uh, with, with high density drawers. So you can choose which direction you would like to upgrade your system. And we've got also some uh, technologies to protect your data. Um, 
besides of HPC, our customers are using this, ma this machine uh, also for streaming the video because this machine is capable to provide more than 1,700 HD channels uh, from, from, the single, from the single machine. And if you, if you imagine how many uh, HD channels we've got currently in Europe, it's slightly more than 1,000. So, so this one system is capable to provide the HD channels for the whole Europe, uh, European TVs. Uh, another thing is that we tested uh, the performance of this machine and currently using just 100 nodes, so around one third of the machine, we were able to provide 5 million operations per second. So you can imagine how, um, uh, how huge performance uh, this machine could provide to, to your environment. Uh, we were talking about uh, energy efficiency. Uh, one of uh, our innovation in these terms is uh, liquid cooling. We are providing liquid cooling machines based on our blades technologies, and we all know the benefits of liquid cooling. We've been visiting CSCS, uh, and I will share later some, some um, success cases based on, on uh, liquid cooling. We know that uh, Using liquid cooling, we are uh, increasing the performance, reducing costs, and uh, uh, one of our customers in Poznan is also reusing the heat to heat up the, the office spaces. So this kind of technology could bring a lot of benefits. Uh, I was mentioning about short delivery times uh, and using our modular data centers, we are capable to plan and schedule the delivery times just to be aligned with your uh, project uh, milestones, with your, with, your, with your schedules. And you can order from Huawei uh, complete modular data centers equipped with network, storage devices, also monitoring, management. And in some cases, we are able to provide, for example, containers equipped with the uh, exact uh, environment that you are looking for within just few few weeks, and that's what we also agreed. For example, with uh, test systems for their uh, cloud um, uh, data centers. We are um, innovative, and I will show you some some innovation that we are working on. Um, we are focusing on green design accelerated workloads and convergency between HPC and big data. In terms of green design, uh, we, we are using, for example, liquid cooling. We are using uh, hot water liquid cooling, which in our region could uh, bring significant savings because of, of, uh, of the weather. You can, you can use uh, natural environment to, uh, to chill your, your servers. Of course, it needs to, uh, to invest in, in the front, but in, in longer, longer time, it can reduce the TCO up to, up to 30, up to 30, 40%, depends on the, on the rack density. We are designing our own SSD hard drives, and I will show you some, some, uh, some numbers. Uh, we are using uh, hardware accelerator to become um, most competitive in terms of performance per, per watt. And as I mentioned, our R&D team is focusing on bringing some uh, green technologies uh, to be uh, in line with the, with the latest trends and bring some, some um, profits for, for our customers. Um, this is one of the latest uh, hard drives. We announced it during uh, SC uh, last year. Uh, this is the SSD uh, hard drives based on PCI Express uh, connectors. Uh, this, is, uh, also this also supports NVMe technology. And uh, the benefits of using these hard drives are huge. Uh, one hard drives could uh, provide up to 
170,000 operations per second. And with the maximum workload, it just consumes 25 watts. So, so uh, in terms of performance per watt, we are uh, one, of the, one of the readers currently. If you compare these numbers with traditional hard drives, with SSD drives, or even um, a number of operations per second provided by traditional storage devices, you can calculate easily uh, how um, you can reduce uh, power consumption, space, etc., using these types of, of hard drives. We are also working on, on convergency. Right now we are, we've got the project called NUVA, which is a kind of appliance that is bringing um, together hardware and, and software. Uh, and we are uh, focusing on lowering the power consumption per transaction in terms of big data. This machine is sized especially for uh, Spark. So uh, we are focusing on reducing the power consumption per, per transaction. <clears throat> As you can see, uh, the design is uh, quite unique. We are using 5U um, rack um, enclosures, and we are uh, capable to provide their 640 CPUs and more than 1,800 uh, one, uh, 1,280 iGPU cores. Uh, this machine could, could be equipped with 80 NVMe devices, uh, more than uh, around 2 terabytes of, of DRAM, uh, additional slots, um, capability to be uh, hot swappable, redundant management of CPUs. So at the end, uh, if you are looking for the perfect solution for big data analytics, I would recommend you give us a call, plan a workshop together, and we will be able to provide you more details how you can achieve some benefits using this kind of architecture. A few, few words about, about the storage portfolio, because we've got very broad portfolio of storage devices. I was just showing the, the, the storage that is dedicated for, for the massive workloads, for the massive uh, data. And uh, we've got also, um, for example, pure flash-based storage. We are calling this family Dorado, and they are providing huge IO, uh, IO, um, IO operations per second. We've got also traditional SAN uh, SAN block devices, and uh, we've got some unique uh, features there. Uh, I will show you examples of RAID 2.0 plus uh, technology, but uh, we are also capable, for example, to build um, asymmetric solution. Uh, usually, if you are building disaster recovery or, or, uh, or backup solution, you've got to build a uh, mirrored data center. So uh, each side should be identical. Using this kind of machines, using Ocean Store V3 family, you can build primary data center based on high-end machines, and you can build backup data uh, disaster recovery center based on the uh, mid-range or even uh, low-end machines because of the architecture is the same. And also, at the end, you can expect significant reduction of, of costs. I was talking about, about Ocean Store 9000. I forgot to mention that this architecture also works well for big data analytics because using different types of nodes, we are capable to do three major things for, 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 for big data. This machine can gather the data, can analyze them, and archive them using one architecture. And what is the best way to deal with data, to move the data? Don't move them at all. And we are using just one machine to do all the things that are necessary to deal with big data, um, with, with big data uh, requirements. We also had uh, uh, mass data storage for low-cost archiving. We provided this system a few years ago to, to CERN. Right now, this machine will be, will be replaced by, by Ocean Store 9000, so I won't, I won't tell uh, too much about it. 
Uh, this is an example of uh, another innovation uh, for, for the storage. Uh, I mentioned right 2.0 technology. So you can uh, build your um, data sets, you can build your, your LANs based on chunks, then chunks groups, extents. Uh, at the end, you are able to build virtual pool of, of uh, disks based on different technologies. And what are the benefits? The benefits are that you are consuming equally the, the different resources. You can provide the shorter uh, rebuild time, for example, because all the, all the drives are, um, are used equally. And for example, if you've got to rebuild one terabyte of data, you can, instead of waiting for several hours, you can expect that this one terabyte will, will be um, reconstructed with uh, less than 30 minutes. Uh, so, I was mentioning the innovation. We are also open to cooperate with the biggest leaders on the market. Currently, we are uh, one of the best partners for, of, of uh, Intel, Mellanox, but we are also cooperating with NVIDIA, AMD, uh, operating system providers, cluster management providers, and also we are uh, starting cooperation with some of the application uh, vendors. Uh, one of the examples from ESI. Uh, currently, we are providing virtual manufacturing solution to shorten the simulation time for CAE. So, uh, together with ESI, we are providing solutions that are, for example, uh, simulating the, the crash, uh, the airflow, water flow, and in the same time, we are also um, uh, developing the virtual reality solution using our infrastructure, um, their end users, their customers will be able to, to have near 3D experience based on the, on the simulations. Um, now I will go to uh, show you some success cases. Uh, I know that, that uh, a lot of you probably uh, for, it's, it's, uh, for some of you, it's probably first time when you are hearing about Huawei in HPC, but we are, we are present there, and we've got some successes. Uh, I will focus on, on the European success cases. So starting from the uh, probably best manufacturer of, of cars, uh, Daimler-Benz is using our uh, E9000 and X6800, so blades and high-density servers, to uh, increase the performance for the, for the simulations. For example, C-Class machine was uh, <coughs> developed and designed using, using uh, our, our infrastructure. I think that is one of the, of the best examples. We announced it uh, last week during CBIT, so uh, as I promised, you are, you are receiving some, some latest updates of, of Huawei um, information. Another great example is Poznań Supercomputing and Networking Center. Um, we provided them around 140 nodes in, uh, in the end of 2014. We provided them nodes equipped with liquid cooling. Uh, they tested this solution and in 2015 we provided them more than 1,000 nodes. And together with Cool IT system, because at this time we were not offering our own liquid cooling solution, together with Cool IT, the, the Canadian company, we provided for customer cluster that is currently listed on uh, 80 position of, of uh, top 500 with almost 1.4 uh, petaflop uh, performance. Uh, so that's one of the one of the examples. Uh, currently, we we provided them. Uh, several, we, we won there several projects, uh, but it's the long-term cooperation. We also signed the Joint Innovation Center, so uh, they will be also helping Huawei to, the, to uh, test and, and uh, verify some uh, products, solutions that are not yet on the market. So, so this is a kind of cooperation that we are also uh, looking for. 
Another example, also from Poland, University of Warsaw. Uh, in 2014, at end of 2014, beginning of 2015, we delivered 250 nodes for HPC, uh, but we are looking for the long-term cooperation, and last year we delivered also uh, more than 360 servers dedicated just for uh, Hadoop and Spark analytics. So uh, it's probably one of the biggest, maybe second or third uh, biggest machine dedicated for, for big data for Spark in our region. Um, this, these customers are probably similar like you. So they know what they want, they know what they need, and uh, uh, they are looking for pure performance, and they are capable to, uh, to, to use them uh, to the maximum. But there are also some customers that are just starting HPC. And uh, for example, Newcastle University, um, they are f uh, they are famous because of their um, medicine uh, knowledge. They are doing uh, some of uh, simulations in terms of in terms of uh, medicine, uh, s but they didn't have any capabilities to to deploy and uh, to manage uh, HPC uh, solutions. We started cooperation with them uh, five years ago, and we started from something small. We delivered full end-to-end -end solution, um, very small number of nodes. Uh, but as I mentioned, we are looking for the long-term cooperation. So uh, right now we are after fourth phase of upgrade. And I hope that they will be uh, planning their future together with Huawei, which I also encourage you to, to do this. Uh, this was all that I prepared for today. I'm open for any questions if you have. Yes? Yeah, you mentioned that you have your own file system. Could you say yes. About it? It's Wushan FS. Wushan FS. This uh, file system uh, is uh, dedicated for OceanStorm 9000. So we are using uh, this file system and we are now providing different kind of protocols. But basically, it's, it's uh, the clustered parallel file system. Uh, and we are providing protocols like uh, CIFs, uh, NFS. Uh, we are also supporting HDFS for, for big data. And we are expecting that soon we will be supporting S3 protocol for, 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 for example, for Amazon and, and cloud. If you would like to, to know more, uh, just drop me an email. I will send you some white papers, how it's designed, what are the reliabilities, what are the additional features. I would be glad to, to send you more details about this file system. We can also organize workshop. You can uh, test this file system if you want. This one, yes. For this specific, this it's, it's just for this Ocean Store 9000, just for this one product. Uh, but for 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 other uh, solutions, we are also open. And uh, for example, one of our customers in Gdańsk, we provided them uh, more than six petabytes of storage, and they are using BGFS. So so. Uh, yeah, we are open to, to also support other file systems like Luster, GPFS, depends on the, oh, GPFS changed the name already. But uh, we, are, we are open to, to support also other file systems. Yes, please. Uh, Huawei also has its own virtualization. Yes, we are OpenStack uh, member. We are a member of the, of the OpenStack community. We've got a huge number of researchers dedicated for developing uh, OpenStack-based uh, virtualization. Currently, we released our latest uh, Fusion Sphere, uh, which is the uh, OpenStack-based uh, cloud platform. Uh, we've got Dual Engine. So if you, if you would like to build, uh, let's say, data center based uh, virtualization you are we, we are uh, using um, zen if you would like to provide uh, um, 
cloud uh, solutions. We are, we, we've got also a second engine that is based on KVM. So it depends on which feature are you looking for, we are capable to, to do um, different protocols to support different, different requirements. We've got also our own VDI-based solution. It's called Fusion Access. Uh, I encourage you to, to, to discussion in, uh, uh, in the background, yes. Uh, unfortunately, I've got, to, I've got to leave soon, but you will find my colleagues that could provide you more and more information. Uh, on the first slide, you will find my, my email address, so you can ask me some questions, and I will be happy to provide you more information about each of the products, because we've got such broad portfolio that it's impossible to cover everything within such short a time frame. Any other questions? If not, thank you very much.